Hey guys. So now we're going to get to chapter 12, which is the female reproductive system. So let's get ready to rumble. Let me share my screen and away we go. Okay. So the structure, female reproductive system. Um, woman has two ovaries. They are the female sex glands, if you will. That's where uh, estrogen and progesterone is made. Um, and that's also where the woman's eggs, which are present at birth, mature every month after puberty. And one is released from an alternating ovary each month. And if it doesn't get fertilized because mommy and daddy don't love each other very much, then the woman has her menstruation or period. The fallopian tubes are these two tubes that extend laterally from the superior angle of the uterus. Uh, and that's where the ovum, the egg, finds its way to the uterus. And there are little finger-like projections, fimbri they're called, that actually propel the ovum into the oviduct. They kind of suck it in, right? So next, the uterus. It is a muscular, hollow pear-shaped structure. And it kind of just hangs. It's suspended um, by ligaments in the pelvic cavity. And that is where the embryo, zygote, then embryo, then fetus, will live until its birth. The vagina is a muscular tube that extends from the cervix, which is the neck of the uterus outside of the body, uh, organ for sexual intercourse, and it's the pathway or birth canal for delivery of the baby. The clitoris is located anterior to the vaginal orifice, sexual response in the female, and it's got erectile tissue with sensory nerve endings, just like the male penis, very similar anyway. The vulva, those are the external genitalia of the female, labia majora and minora, which are the outermost and innermost structures. And they basically are, act as a protective mechanism for um, the vagina and the clitoris. Then we have breasts, so mammary glands, are these glandular lobes inside the breasts and they have milk ducts, which lead to openings in the nipples and production of milk to nourish the neonate after born, after it's born is their only function. Not really involved in delivery um, and not really involved in reproduction per se. And so where are the ovaries located? They're located in the pelvic cavity on each side. The mammary glands make milk. Gestation means the time in which the zygote embryo fetus is developing before it's born. And parturition is the actual act of birth or delivery. So combining forms, when we talk about the ovaries, it's oophoro or ovario, right? So an oophorectomy, removal of the ovaries, ovario, like ovarian cancer. The vagina can be referred to as culpo or vagino or vagino. The uterus has several names, hystero, as in a hysterectomy, utero, or metro, such as endometriosis. The cervix, which is the neck of the uterus, cervico, and the fallopian tubes, even the eustachian tubes in your ears, are referred to as salpingo. Birth is nato. Milk is either galacto or lacto. When we're referring to a woman or a female, it's gynaco. Breasts are mammo or masto, and menses or menstruation, meno, like amenorrhea is without menstruation. Perineum, perineo, and amnion, which is the amniotic sac, that's where the baby floats in for nine months, is amnio. So suturing the perineum um, is called a perineurophy, and that can also be called an episiotomy, so repair of episiotomy. Anything that's pertaining to birth, before birth rather, is prenatal. Perinatal is during birth and postnatal is after birth. Right? A woman who's pregnant for the first time is a prima gravida and a fake pregnancy, a false pregnancy is a pseudosiasis. And yes, they have. A herniation or swelling of the fallopian tube is a salpingocele and having a very bad, painful, or difficult labor or childbirth is dystocia. Having multiple children, many offspring, is multipara. And if something is facing backward or behind, that would be retroversion 
uh, sometimes the uterus can be retroverted, tilted the wrong way. Inflammation of the cervix is cervicitis. A surgical puncture of the amniotic sac is called amniocentesis, it's used for testing. Pertaining to the period after birth is postnatal and inflammation within the uterus is endometritis. Here we go, inflammation of the cervix, cervicitis. Amniocentesis is a puncture of the amniotic sac, postnatal, and then inflammation is endometritis. Someone who studies, specialist in the study of female disorders is a gynecologist. A tumor of the ovary is oophoroma. The beginning of menstruation is menarche, and then multipara is to have many offspring. A woman who's pregnant for the first time, prima gravida, bad, painful, difficult childbirth is dystocia. Suture of the perineal area after an episiotomy is perineurophy, and surgical repair of the breast is either mammoplasty or mastoplasty. Removal of the breast is mastectomy. A visual examination of the abdomen is a laparoscopy. An excision or removal of the breast is mastectomy. There it is. Um, we'll go very quickly through the diseases. An ectopic pregnancy is where instead of implanting in the uterus, the fertilized egg or ovum will implant someplace else, usually in the tube. This is not a viable pregnancy. In other words, um, it's going to have to be removed. Um, signs and symptoms, usually abdominal pain and tenderness. Um, if the fallopian tube ruptures, that can be very dangerous, intra-abdominal bleeding, you know, the hemorrhage can cause shock, et cetera. The treatment is surgery to remove the ectopic tissue. Um, sometimes they have to remove the tube. Sometimes they have to remove the ovary. If they don't, the person is lucky if it's caught early enough. We're gonna shoot through these. Breast cancer, tons of different types of malignant neoplasms of the breast. Uh, HER2 positive, HER2 negative, they're usually fed by estrogen. The HER2 negative ones are not. They usually begin in the milk producing glands, but not always. Um, when they say associated with ovarian hormone function, what they mean is most, but not all breast cancers are fueled by estrogen which is an ovarian hormone, right? But not all of them. So um, contributing factors, family history is the biggest one. Um, estrogen use for prolonged periods of time, um, especially if there's a family history of breast cancer or any cancer for that matter. And yeah, high fat diet and obesity, but not quite as much. Some, usually no signs, usually no signs of breast cancer um, other than something found on a mammogram. Um, and usually no pain. Cancer doesn't hurt, right? So treatment would be either a lumpectomy, remove the lump, could be a modified radical mastectomy where we're removing the breast and the underarm or the axillary lymph nodes, chest muscles are intact. Um, they can do a radical mastectomy where everything goes. So the breast tissue, the lymph glands and nodules and the um, muscular tissue underneath. Usually they'll need um, chemo and radiation afterwards. Endometriosis is where the lining of the uterus grows outside the uterus. Um, usually they have problems with their periods, dysmenorrhea, back pain. Um, they have problems with urination. They can have problems with defecation. Uh, the, the treatment would depend on the type and severity of the symptoms, sometimes surgery, sometimes um, a dilatation and curatage, a DNC is where they can go in and scrape away that overgrown tissue. Circlage. A circlage is where we take purse string sutures and put them around the cervix to prevent premature dilation of the cervix and then premature delivery of the fetus, right? Some people have what's called an incompetent cervix. That will just kind of keep the cervix closed until it's time for the baby to be born. Dyspareunia is pain during intercourse. Insufflation is when they blow air into a cavity, so for better visual examination. Uh, so with a laparoscope or laparoscopic examination, they will actually do an insufflation where air gets blown into that abdominal cavity so they could see better. Menarche is the first menstrual period. Eclampsia is pregnancy-induced hypertension, but it's the worst kind. 
and it's clinically manifested as grand mal seizure activity, proteinuria, usually plus three, edema, and really severe hypertension. Um, the woman, if not treated, can have seizure activity, tonic clonic grand mal seizures, and go into a coma and die, and the baby can die as well. Very serious. So we talked about the procedures already. A hysterectomy is where they're removing either the uterus or the uterus and the cervix and the ovaries and the tubes or any portion of those. Um, reconstructive breast surgery, that's usually done after a mastectomy because of cancer. Um, a tram flap, um, that's a surgical creation of a skin flap using skin from the lower half of the abdomen. Um, it actually takes part of the abdominis muscle, which is the muscle of this abdomen and uses it to make a natural, more natural looking breast. We're not gonna go through all those. Laparoscopy, we already talked about that, where they go in with a laparoscope through usually one incision in the abdominal wall, usually near the belly button, the umbilicus, to look at something. There's a pap smear where we are taking a sample of mucus discharge and cells from the cervix looking for cancer, a cervical cancer. Mammography is put your breast into a refrigerator door and slam it shut. No, I'm kidding. That's a radiographic exam of the breasts. Um, it basically flattens your breast like a pancake and can find cancer, can find malignant growths or abnormal things. Coldoscopy is where we put a scope into the vagina, through the vagina, into the pelvic cavity. So we actually have to go through and dilate the cervix and go into um, the pelvic cavity, looking for signs of endometriosis or adhesions or other things. Amniocentesis is where we take a syringe and needle, go through, usually right through the umbilicus, into the amniotic sac and remove some amniotic fluid. We're looking for biochemical disorders, congenital birth defects, those types of things. So again, visual examination of the vagina and cervix is colposcopy. The process of recording the uterus and fallopian tubes, here's a mouthful, hysterosalpingography. And the instrument used to examine the abdominal cavity is a laparoscope. Radiography of the breasts is mammography. An abnormal condition inside the uterus is endometriosis. Surgical puncture of the amniotic sac is amniocentesis. Not gonna go through the meds. And that's all she wrote, ta-da! We are done with this chapter. I am going to stop the sharing and I am going to stop the recording. Peace out.